What up, guys? Oh, she's loud. I can't believe really I gotta say this in an effective Conan video because I know that they're gonna come to this video. Look, when I say I'm, I'm gonna put out episode a certain date, you know, I'm saying at night, you know, it's not gonna be exact moment. You know, I'm not like a a, a network that has, <laughs> you know, that's good. Uh, you know, at three o'clock, something's gonna pop up. You know, I'm a human being, so you're gonna get your, you know, your demon slayer, you know, a little later, okay? But it is gonna be tonight. But thank you for thank you for looking forward to watching it. You know, I'm on my channel. It means the world to me. And you know who you are. Thank you so much. But remember, I'm human, and I just missed this greatest moment right here with the music and the kicking it. <laughs> no, wait, two straight episodes with them? <laughs> Yo, the people who make... You guys ever hear of modesty? For real. The people who, who make the fillers really like these little kids, man. Because... Oh, shit. Creep alert. Um... If you see that I put the reaction right here, you know, like in front of this thing, it's because I've, I've seen that it helps it not getting noticed. Where do you put it all? You know what I mean? Inspector McGuire should buy you so, yeah. dessert. If I put it over here, you be a good citizen and treat these heroes to a nice lunch. Why they probably catch it. Me? What's the matter with you? Sheep. That's what cops are. Cheap, lousy bums. Was he? <laughs> isn't he a cheap, lousy bum? for 50 other crimes. Conan's the one who realized there was something fishy about that guy in the jewelry store. What do you know? Maybe there's hope for them after all. I'll bet we nah. get more clients than ever now. We might have to set up an office. What the hell? Dude, he's going to run him over. <gasps> Yo, I know how to drive stick shit. shit. I love stick shit. Be careful, I need there's a car. Dude. Wow. Three three nine six. Remember that number. He's not even Yo. stopping. Rachel, what a piece of shit. I'm going to call an ambulance and get the police. I'm going after him, guys. Oh, this is called hot pursuit. Yo, he's gonna break this. We can't let him hurt Amy and get away. Right. Okay, but you better hold uh. on tight. I don't remember the skateboard being that long. <laughs> skateboard like this. Because they only fit, um, Tony. But you know what? I ain't gonna. It's an anime. You know what I mean? You don't go back there. Get all scientific. How did that creep even get a car like that? I'm pretty sure back then that car was nice, right? Oh, he probably stole it. He's he's baiting him. Hey, he stopped again. What's his deal? Maybe he's got vapor lost. Man, we lucked out. It's not luck. He's waiting for us at every corner. Yeah. It's like he's trying not to lose us. Yeah, bro. He's trying to. He's he trapping. It. Come on, Cody. Go. Put the pedal to the metal. Cars don't just disappear. Unless they're ghost cars. Let's look for him. Yeah. Uh, hey guys, maybe he's hiding in the factory. Well, sure, it's a possibility, I guess. But what are the chances of him having a key to this building? Come on, let's go. Man, what a mess. Haven't they ever heard of pavement? Is that mud? It is, right? He couldn't go up there, which means he went that way. He's gone. Let's ask at that tobacco stand. Maybe they saw him. I'm surprised George Excuse can even did you run. See a red car go by? Huh, a red car. I really Ooh, she's wasn't hot. paying that much attention. Sorry. 
It's a two-door, ma'am. A sports car. Yeah. Oh, my husband had a sports car once. She's getting paid off. There's no way you don't see a damn sport red sports car. Oh, yes. Snuff, too. Man, I guess we totally lost that guy. Yeah, snuff? he's long gone by now. She's into snuff, fam. <gasps> wow! Gross lady. Look at him right there. Come on, you guys, let's go. That's so annoying. Whoa, that was pretty cool. It doesn't make sense. He could have been long gone. He must have backed up so we would see him again. But what? What's he trying to accomplish? I'm getting. He probably wants revenge. They, the junior spot. How he caught one of his boys or something? That's what I'm doing. Yo! <laughs> Wait, what? A police hub? What's he doing? What is this nasty creep doing? I hit a girl with my car. You've got to arrest me, officer. What, what no the way. fudge? I think I think someone's after him. I think someone's after him. He feels protected. Of man's constant inner struggle. Although he uh, ran, his conscience got to him, and he turned himself in. Yeah, yeah. He, well, he feels safer uh, turning he himself in. The junior detective league was breathing down his neck. Conan, are you okay? Me? Bro, it didn't. Oh, I'm fine. What did the doctor say about Amy's injury? It didn't even she hit her, bro. the luckiest bro. girl in the world. All she had were some minor cuts and bruises. Yeah, because she literally jumped by herself. Man, you are lucky. <laughs> and she no, jumped I'm in not. the air. I lost the 360. junior detective league badge that Conan gave me. It must have oh, fallen off. You gotta and kick her out now. the scene of the crime somewhere. That's the rules. The police, but they said they didn't see it. Hey, no worries. I'll have Dr. Agasa make you another one. No, that's not fair. You're the best. I don't know what I'd do without you. Mm. <laughs> that cool. mm -hmm. Using the badge to win her affection. Oh, please. <laughs> if they only knew. Hey, we've got to go. Only the inspector's knew he was waiting for me down at the factory on 4th Street. Someone's committed a crime. We passed that factory when we were chasing the guy who hit Amy. What's going Wait. on? Was it robbed? Not only that, but they also found someone dead. It looks oh. like a murder. That what, that little while that they lost him, you think he murdered someone during that little time, and then for he to have an alibi? This is real detective work. Oh man, shut up, Inspector McGuire. Well, look who's here. Thanks for coming, Detective. The victim's right here. Name's Henry. Yeah. Anderson. Took a knife to the back, like he didn't. I feel like that's what he coming. did. Looks like the killer got away with some cash. Yeah. And you see yeah, how it's all messy? Run. Seems pretty cut and dried to me, but we're Super still quick. all the angles. The killer either came off the street, or it could have possibly been an inside job. Maybe a disgruntled employee of his. He's got tape marks on his mouth and on both of his wrists. Which Wait, means no, it wouldn't the killer be... had him tied up before he murdered him. Yeah. Why did he remove the tape? It doesn't make sense. He probably Maybe came before. He... <laughs> what did I tell you about interfering? Sorry, I forgot. <laughs> So the back door to the factory is right across the street from the tobacco stand. It was the old lady. Well, Look at that no guilty ass face, autopsy. man. But the estimated time of death is approximately one hour ago. That's when we passed it. While we were all chasing that guy, sir. We were right here. That's what I thought. Did you kids see anything suspicious going on? No, hey, McGuire's losing weight, man. Congrats. Well, we were in hot pursuit. I'm gaining. You know how it is, Inspector. Hey, that's him right there. The guy who hit Amy. That's him in the picture. Where? Look at that. In the back row. That guy. Do it. You right, is George. It? That is him. Why does he have to look no. sus and everything? Are you positive? Yes, absolutely. Maybe he did it. Maybe he's the killer. That's impossible. It's just Yo. a coincidence. Yeah, how could They he? gave George an old man's from voice. A hit and run. He didn't have enough time. Master Rossi. They had some kind of crazy souped up skateboard. I would have lost them, but my car kept stalling when I was running away. Yeah. I was nearby because I stalled on the curb past the back of the factory. Sure, bro. But I was only there for a second. How could I commit murder? He used uh, to work at the paint easy. factory where the murder took place, but he was canned about a month ago for insubordination. Ah, that gives him a motive. See, he did do it. 
There's just no way, George. And why not? Because we would have seen him. We were behind the factory, remember? Maybe he parked his car. He could have snuck in the back before the kids got there. He had at least a few minutes on them. Not bad, Richard, but I talked to the lady at the tobacco stand. Her statement doesn't support that. No, sir. I didn't see any cars behind the factory or in the street. I would have remembered. That's probably the her grand located grandson. directly across the street from the rear She's entrance of the factory. You know grandma's be looking she out for She had the perfect view. Their hmm. grandson. I guess it really was just a coincidence after all, darn it. No, Richard. Your instinct is correct. This is all tied together in some kind of way. It's got to be. I just can't it see it yet. I can see it. I can see it. If, if I'm right, bro, chasing, didn't I'm getting... It could be anyway. I'm turning yeah, to an expert. Yeah, we go see Amy? We're not going to uh, find anything here. Good idea. Uh, expert you guys go. Say what? Though. You want to split up the junior detective league? No way, man. We're sticking together. <laughs> I'll say if I could have some fruit juice. I'm really thirsty. Looks like you can get juice right over there. See, there's a store next to Dormay's Tobacco. My, isn't that a shame, dear? And he was always such a good boy. Wait a second. Uh, excuse me, ma'am. When that man was killed earlier, did you happen to get a wrong number call? Let's see. Well, yes, come to think of it, I got two wrong number calls around that time. Now I get it. Well, at least that's one oh, piece of the puzzle. Thanks very much, He Ma called. He called while, before he got there for she could turn around, because y'all she turned around. What are you smart. doing? Waiting for that's a smart. boost. Now hurry up. Boost for what? What do you think? Do you, you see anything me? in there? Oh, I see something, all right. I see enough oh. to convict Kenny Sheen of murder. Wait, there's hey, two red cards? I know what that is. So that's where it went. Now I get it. Oh, hey, I know that. I saw that. That's the little badge, huh? Yo, hey, man, this is getting too easy. No, I'm just kidding. I'm, I still suck. It's probably... They're I giving us little... E the filler ones do it. are the easy ones. All right, ones, I'll right? be there. One down and one to go. Detective Moore, McGuire here. I need your expertise down at the factory. We've got another lead. At ease, boys. I'm here, Inspector. What's up? Hello, Hello Detective, Detective Moore. Moore. What's going on? What are you squirts doing here? Where's the Inspector? Inspector McGuire's on his way here. Mm -hmm. Why don't you sit down and have a nice cold beer while you're waiting? Ha-ha! <laughs> All right, now you're talking. Don't mind if I do. Uh, room service. I'll have <laughs> yeah. tea with fries and hold the mayo. A bill tea. Wow, it's just like Conan said. He arrives at the crime scene and immediately turns into the sleeping sleuth. No wonder Conan said he'd never know it was just water in the can. Oh. Conan. Come and tell us what we should do next. He's Conan still probably going to drink it when he wakes up. I'll take care of things from here. Uh, come on, that's not fair. Don't worry, I'm not cutting you out. You're both included in my plan. Uh -huh. Awesome. Thanks, Thanks Detective Moore. Moore. I don't like George. This better be good, Moore. <laughs> I'm out on a limb here. So what's I the meaning like, of this? I might like the kids Mr. better Sheen. in the sub. He can tell you. I mean, they're not bad. <sighs> what are you talking Don't get me about? wrong. A well-laid plan that started with the hit and run of a little girl. You hit Just her, don't drove show off too much, in your car, okay. and the three boys with her came after you. Two of them are standing right here. You led them to this factory, and then, as they searched for you outside, you did what you intended all along. And what was that, detective? You know all what, right. bitch? If you insist on making me say it, I'll be happy to. While the three boys were searching outside, you killed your boss. You murdered Henry Isaacs. <laughs> Easy peasy, you lemon can't just go squeezy. Of murder. Now look, he did hit a girl, but he turned himself in. He's not a murderer. We cleared him. You cleared him on the ground <laughs> that he couldn't possibly have killed Henry Isaacs because he was involved in a car chase at the time. Exactly. And those two kids were the ones chasing me. They know I couldn't have done it. Right, guys? Yeah. Maybe so. But wasn't that your plan? To intentionally set up the members of the Junior Detective League as your witnesses, as your alibi for murder. Exactly, because he saw him in the newspaper, That's your too. theory? You can't be serious. 
I'm dead serious. The hit and run was a premeditated act, a crime committed to conceal a much larger crime, the murder of Henry Isaacs. More? Is that a beer? How many of those have you had anyway? Actually, I haven't had a drop. Look, Inspector. Oh, yeah. That Mr. Sheen could have easily lost him and the boys when they were chasing him, but that he purposely stopped several times. He was letting them catch up. I stopped because my he car was so falling obvious. out. That's probably true. His car uh, definitely had problems. A plug was faulty and the engine was in pretty bad shape. Oh, wow. On, he Inspector. actually used That's that? Yeah, he's smart. Even an amateur can rig up something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not that saying he's smart because... So. But I was being chased. They had me in sight the whole time. How do you explain that, huh? You're right. It's the perfect alibi. Except for the three minutes that the children lost track of you. Three minutes? That's not enough time to do anything. Wrong. It's just enough time. Enough time to come in here. Ha! Now that's a crock. If I would have parked at the back door, the old lady at the tobacco stand would have seen me. You called so her, you're Paul. you're familiar with that place? Well, yeah, I used to work here. I mean, she's into kinky Dora stuff. Mays. Yeah, I'll bet. How many times you been there? Hundreds, maybe? You even know their phone number. Don't you, Kenny? I have yeah. no idea what you're talking about, Detective. You didn't park by the back door, Mr. Sheen. But you did come in through it, didn't you? Yeah, he did. This car didn't just disappear. So what'd he do with it? Conan. I'm right here. Conan, where'd you come from? <laughs> I imagine he still had the voice here. thing What's by accident. Deal? I'll explain later. Now let's take the inspector to the warehouse where I looked in from George's shoulders. If you say so. <sighs> so I'm guessing one's washed. I don't believe it. And no one's way. not. How the hell did he have? Does he have? How the how does he have two? Rich has. Oh no! Obviously well, stole Mr. it. But Sheen, how do you, you find? Mind explaining why this car is identical to the one you were driving during the hit. Yeah, run? I'm curious. Know. Well, I do. It <laughs> I seems pretty clear to me. <laughs> you obviously refinished this car to look exactly like yours. An easy task for someone who works in a paint factory. Oh Here's yeah, of course off. I'm dumb. It went something like this. First you knocked out Mr. Isaacs with some sort of anesthesia. Then you tied him up using tape from the shop. You then drove the car you had refinished and hit poor Amy in the street. You knew that the other children would give chase. You were counting on it. You even stopped several times to let them catch up. You couldn't afford to lose them. You cleverly led them to the factory where you hid the refinished car in the warehouse next door. Yeah, Running I mean, past, you used your cell phone to call Dora May over at the tobacco stand. You knew that she'd have her back turned when she answered the phone and that you could slip into the back door <laughs> of the really factory funny. without being seen. As soon as you entered, you immediately killed Henry Isaacs, removed the tape that he was bound with and made it look like a robbery. You had probably already broken into the safe the first time you came in. Yeah, yeah, that's why I said you too. You placed your second call to Dora May's tobacco stand. When she turned her back to answer, you ran down the street to your other car, which you had previously parked out of sight just before the curve in the road. You pulled Damn. out and waited for the children to resume the chase. Wow. You knew you needed a reason why your car kept stopping, so you rigged the engine with some bad plugs. No one could tell you made the switch. It was a brilliant plan. Wow, so that's how he did it. Man, it was key. brilliant. Low key. guesswork. The car I hit the girl with is the one that was confiscated, and you can't prove any different. <laughs> yeah, we can, the bad. You saw the confiscated car. Did you notice if there was any mud splashed on it? Huh? Mud? No. It Why is he blushing? Clean, like it had just been washed. <laughs> now that doesn't surprise me, because it was parked down the road. Had he driven to that spot or to the warehouse, he would have had to go through the mud puddle on the side of the factory. Hey, officer. Check and see if that car has any mud on it, will you? That's not gonna be enough. Yes, sir. It's got mud spots I mean, on the wheel. Actually, well. That proves yeah. nothing. That yeah, yeah. could have fallen off the car when I was driving down the road. Come on, detective. You insist I was driving that car when I hit the girl. So go ahead and prove it. Don't All try Conan like that. You know he's gonna prove Conan? it. Conan? Right, Detective Moore. Mitch, can you call Amy on your badge? Don't Mitch and silly. bitch sound way too much alike. she lost it in the accident when she was hit. Will you try anyway? Yeah. Hey, Amy. This is Mitch. Do you copy? 
Uh-huh. I know you can't hear me, but Conan insists that I talk to you anyway. You're feeling better. We're going to come and Yo, see you later, okay? It, they got so lucky. Was wedged in the bumper. I don't know how that's possible for the little badge that I get stuck with. Hey, right coming through, let me see. Yep, that did all right. That is Amy's badge. It must have gotten stuck there when she was hit. You tried to trick us kids into uh -oh. an alibi for murder. Looks like you underestimated the junior detective lead. Okay. You know what? Uh, no, Good. It can't be. This is. I'll die in jail. Please, oh. <laughs> anything but that. It wasn't Wait. This way. Wait, we don't get why he did it? Wait, wait, hold up. Wait, are we gonna get it after this? We always this is always where we see wait, what the hell? Why was dude why do in the outro why do they have Rachel naked? Okay. Right here. I almost forgot. Here you go, Amy. I found your badge for you. Wait, really? this is the first time they. Conan, you're my hero. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> All right, Conan. We want you, you dog. Wait, wait, wait. Yo, this is the first time the 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 killer didn't say the reason why he did it. No, that's like one of the best parts too. Like finding out why they did it and like. Like if we feel bad for them or not, well, me I always feel bad for them because you know, but most but a lot of times obviously you know they they're horrible. But yeah, all right guys, let me know what you guys think. Um, I got y'all today. Um, we want like more Detective Conan episode. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go ham on it. You know, I got y'all. And um, oh uh, yeah, I love you. Thank you for having patience with me. And comment. You know, I love talking to you guys. I still gotta reply to some comments because I make it a number one priority to reply to every comment, and um, and I haven't replied to the ones I, I did like yesterday, um, because I've been busy. But yeah, I'll do that after I'm done recording. So I love you guys. Till next time.